hi friends welcome back so in this video we will discuss about which carrier is better whether software testing carrier is very much better for young engineer or a software development uh, field is good for young software engineers i'm going to discuss in details by considering three or four parameters to understand which career is better whether software testing is better or software development is better the first thing we will consider about career growth so let's understand if you are going to join as a software developer so what are the career growths you have you can be a software developer then followed by a senior software developer after a uh, certain experience maybe if you have experience of 2 to 5 years you can become a so senior software developer then you can become a module lead after five to six years you can become a module lead or a team lead or a project lead then followed by a architect if you don't want to become a team lead you can become a technical architect and you can also become a project manager where you will be leading the set of people to deliver given project and also you can become a senior project manager as well maybe if you have experience of 15 to 20 25 years of experience you can become a senior project manager so this is the complete uh, career growth you can find when you are joining as a software developer now we will try to understand if you join as a software tester so what is the roadmap do we find similar roadmap for software testing as well we will see that if you join as a software tester you will find the similar pattern here as well to software development what roles we just saw similar roles also we find in software testing as well we find so senior software tester then test lead we have then test architect or a test manager we have then here also we have a senior test manager if we can compare both software development and testing we find the both the roles almost equal to same career growth is also most of the time it is same both development and testing as well now we will try to understand fine the career growth is fine here also we can get lot of promotions lot of different role changes then how about a salary so do we get the similar kind of salary for both software developer and a software tester so i have taken few samples from glassdoor I have taken few samples from Glassdoor for salary comparison between software tester and a developer. So if you can see here, so here I am trying to give certain comparison for you. What is the salary difference between a software developer and a software tester? Let's talk about one by one. Let's take example of Wipro. So here in Wipro, the average salary for software tester, which is around 4.72 lakhs. If you are thinking about a, in a development perspective, what is the salary in Wipro, which is 4.61. So it is, uh, if you can see here in Wipro itself, the tester is, is getting little higher salary. Now we will talk about Infosys. Infosys average developer salary is 4.74 lakhs. Now we will try to compare this side, which is average salary is 4.9. Again, the salary for software test is little higher compared to software developer. Then we will talk about uh, Cognizant. The Cognizant developer salary is 5.2 lakhs. If you can see this side, you can see 5.22 lakhs for software tester. We will take one more example. We will talk about Accenture. So Accenture developer is drawing around five around 5.18 lakhs as a software developer as a software tester is drawing 5.29. So with this example, you can clearly draw a picture in front of you that software tester is also getting similar kind of salary for software developer. Now we will try to compare in more different perspective. Now we have an agile development methodology where both developer and tester will be treated equally and they will be working together. That is the scenario these days. We are working in agile methodology. Now in this scenario, what is the differences you can see between developer and a tester? The tester normally will have little higher 
knowledge especially in terms of domain expertise testers will be part of any go or no go decisions they will be highlighting the lack of quality and but but developers will be concentrating on just working on a particular module or a feature so at least with this you can get a clear idea the testers normally gain more traction they will have a good understanding on the overall product side or a project side at the end of the day go or no go decisions will be taken based on the testers input so because of that testers will have little higher connections with the leadership team we will try to make a conclusion so can anybody can become a developer anybody can become a tester first thing we should do is we have to check your ability everybody comes with their own skill set everybody will have their own ability check yourself if you have an ability to finding issues you are able to fix those issues you are able to debug then go for development if you are able to write a code or if you are able to fix the issues then it is always go for development sometime what happens certain people will have certain skills like they are able to easily identify the issues they are able to debug issues then that kind of people should move into a testing both testing and development gives equal career opportunity almost equal salaries equal growth opportunity in their career again at the end of the day individual has to decide which career path they should take either testing or development with this i am ending this video if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care